Hi guys. So, um, let's just get right down to business. Hi guys, it is Minnie Mouse Fergles with another YouTube video today. You guys know me personally as Maya. So, um, I know I already filmed today, but I thought I would talk to you guys about something that's been, um, happening lately for the last few weeks that I've been trying to deep down ignore, but, um, I just can't help but with, you know, I thought I'd talk about this now because, uh, I thought I'd get the, just push the elephant out of the room that, uh, our police system is fucked up. Um, we have been going through a lot, as you guys know, with the George Floyd thing, the Black Lives Matter protest, all these things that are just happening in our United States, our police system being majorly fucked up. Um, it's stressful to know that our police system now today is probably the most messed up thing in the entire world. Can we talk about how the police think that they're still living in like the 1900s where they think that it's okay to um, treat people like shit and whatever and especially people of color like myself and to treat people just like mad shit even though they shouldn't be because we all should be treated fairly but yet the police think that they're in their minds they just are like we don't give a shit we are here to uh do our jobs and at the end of the day get paid but like what what even is my life anymore like i'm trying not to think about this because i've got um graduation to worry about and i've got to worry about uh cleaning my room getting things set up making sure my family is going to be cleaning this house making sure that my mom gets the decorations make sure my mom takes me to pick to pick up my cap and gown make sure my mom gets the food and the cake it's it's a lot of work and I'm trying to think about that like I'm trying to think about the happier things like graduation is coming up and I'm so excited and um I just thought I'd talk about this with you guys because I feel like it's something that I feel like I should just, like as a youtuber I need to do because it's super important that we talk about our police system and what about it we've been going through a lot things have been very fucked up lately for the past few weeks for us first Things have been fucked up for, sorry, not for even the past few weeks. It's been the past few months. I mean, first of all, with this coronavirus thing, it's really pushing everyone to the edge. And uh, I just found out that apparently uh, nail salons are supposed to be remaining closed even though we're in the yellow zone. So I'm kind of pissed about that, which means I can't get my nails done for graduation, which I wanted to, but I can't if nail salons are going to be closed. So I have to deal with the fact that I'm not gonna have acrylics for graduation. And um, as far as my hairdresser goes, I still have not heard from my hairdresser, Charnel, to see if I can get my hair done before graduation, which it's probably gonna be a no. So uh, that's kind of a problem. But um, things have been very fucked up for all of us. We've all been going through some struggles with not seeing our friends and family. It's been very strug like struggling. But the good thing is, the Bucks County, PA area, we are in. The, we are officially in the yellow zone. We are happy to be in the yellow zone because it's just something that's awesome and cool. Because it's like, yay, we made it to the yellow zone. We're finally, you know, out of somewhat of containment. It's happy to know that we finally moved from the red to the yellow because we are one step closer to moving into the green for this pandemic being over so we can go back to how lives were originally were, how we could see our friends again, how we can go out to places without having to wear a mask and um, not being quarantined because quarantine, as you guys know, has been driving me up the wall because I had to constantly see my family all the time and it's very stressful and um, it's just something that just needs to be pushed out of the way. So. I was lucky today, I was able to go out today with my friend Kat and have a picnic with her and talk and just pour out my emotions to her, it felt good. Um, so that's fun. Um, but I just want you guys to know, we're all in this 
together. We're all going to find a way to get through this pandemic. We're all going to, like, like, I'm just going to tell you something, something right now. Like, we are going to walk out of this, like, as soon as this pandemic ends, we are going to walk out of our homes saying, we survived the coronavirus, and I'm a proud survivor of it. Like, it's going to be something that you're going to tell your kids, your grandkids. It's going to be tell something that you're going to, that, that you're going to have in the rest of your life. It's going to be printed in history books and it's gonna be everywhere and it's gonna be like holy shit I actually survived the coronavirus it's kind of crazy but like I feel like this is something I'm gonna definitely tell my kids when I'm older when I'm getting when I get married and when I have children I'm gonna tell the kids I'm gonna tell my kids about how their mom survived one of the biggest pandemics of 2020 and how she managed to be a survivor and get through through the struggle of not seeing her friends for two months, now three months. It's crazy, dude. Like, it's honestly just insane. But with that aside, you know, with um, we're going to just look at the happy side. We're going to remain positive. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. Um, I thought I'd also catch you guys up for what's going to be happening tomorrow and starting this week or starting next week. So let's get right on to the catch up. So catch up. Um, Sunday tomorrow, I'm going to be cleaning my room because my room does need to be cleaned a little bit. I need to at least vacuum and, uh, make sure it's nice and tidy because my sister will be staying in here once again. As you guys know, I have not seen my older sister since she came down to see my, to see my younger sister for her birthday. So that was like a month ago. And my uncle, I have not seen since December of Christmas. So it's been a while. Um, it's going to be good to see him because it's been a long time and, uh, we got a lot of catching up to do. So, um, that's fun. Starting Monday, um, I may or may not have told you guys this in my last vlog or my vlog before, but starting on Monday is official crunch time. It is time, it is time to get down to business and start planning out graduation. I, Monday, I am... My mom is picking, I'm going with my mom to Party City to pick up the graduation decorations for both the car and the party. Tuesday, um, I am picking up my cabin gown, t-shirt, and hoodie from the school because they finally arrived, thank God. Uh, Wednesday, um, I have my accepted students call from Bucks that I need to take, obviously, because they postponed it the last, from last, from... They had to postpone it from this week because of the power outage, and uh, that's fun. So I have that. Thursday, my sister is coming down. I don't know what time yet. I still don't know what time yet. I need to find that out. And then Friday, my uncle's coming down, and that is the day of the graduation. That's the day where things are going to be happening. I'm going to be making a bunch of calls to different people. It's going to be great. It's honestly just going to be great. I'm super excited for what's going to be happening this week. It may it's going to be stressful but i'm going to remain my composure i'm going to keep calm keep happy i just need to make sure that my brother and my s sister both clean their rooms make sure that they're nice and tidy we need to make sure to clean the downstairs starting with the kitchen the dining room the living room because they all need to be nice and tidy for when our guests arrive and i need to make sure that my room is clean because my sister's going to be staying in here so that's fun and fresh so yeah but uh, that is all I have for you guys for this video. I know I already filmed today, but I thought I'd share with you guys basically what's what's been going on with our police system and just a lot of things that have been happening. Um, rest in peace for George, George Floyd. Um, I'm sorry that this had to happen to you. This is something that I wish that our police system was not so fucked up, honestly. But um, aside from that, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, you obviously know what to do. You can subscribe down below, click the bell for notifications. And um, if you want, you can leave a like um, and uh, comment down below whether you um, are excited to see me graduate. Because as I told you, or may have not told you, start. I am putting my mini's summer prep guide on hold to do my graduation prep vlogs which will be starting monday at 8 30 in the morning so with that being said i'll see you guys on monday peace